Sophie Adeno is an aerospace engineer, a helicopter pilot, a certified yoga teacher, a trained skydiver, and now an astronaut eligible to fly to the International Space Station and beyond. Sophie and five other new astronauts received their formal certification here at ESA's European Astronaut Center during a ceremony held on April 22. Following the ceremony, I spoke to Sophie Adeno and started by asking her how she felt on joining this exclusive club. Well, I feel super happy. <laughs> you probably have seen the images uh, of the diploma and when I received it, it was uh, yeah, a very joyful moment and uh, a lot of emotions, of course. And I'm happy but also ready for what's coming next. For me, the diploma is not an end in itself, but it's really just um, just a step in this big adventure and this big journey and a lot of uh, training is coming as well so I'm, I feel ready for the, the upcoming training. <laughs>I was dreaming of becoming an astronaut since I was a little girl and then I grew up um, hearing from people around me uh, just don't dream that big, it will never happen and sometimes I would listen but uh, mainly I wouldn't listen and I would just um, try to do my best to come here and yeah, here I am. So I would say it's a good message of uh, hope for people who are hearing around like uh, your dreams are not realistic, just uh, go push forward and they might happen at one day. <laughs> I doubt there is a single method. I guess everyone has a, a different path and, and singularities. It's, it's all good that we all have different backgrounds. As you see, uh, we have five different professional backgrounds in the class. I don't know what to say because it's really individual. I would say um, don't be afraid of trying. Don't be afraid of, um, of um, failing. Um, I tried twice this selection. I tried in, in 2009, but it didn't work. I was very young, too young probably, but I learned a, a lot on the way. And, uh, and then it really helped me for the first, uh, the, for the, the latest selection. So yeah, just try and go for it. <laughs> Myself, I try not to think too much about it. I just do my job as an astronaut, a professional, and it was the same when I was a pilot. I, I, I became the first French woman um, test pilot in France, um, a helicopter test pilot in France, but I didn't think about that. I really thought about, okay, what do I need to do to be a professional? Uh, and, and, and what do, um, what is the operational world expecting from me? And just not think about that. Um, and I, I do the same as an astronaut. I don't think about being a woman or not a woman. I just think about doing my duties, my operational duties. But also, I, I recognize and I acknowledge that a lot of women or little girls are looking for inspiration and I'm here for, for them, just to give them inspiration if they want to listen. I am just, uh, yeah, just go for it. <laughs> So the whole year was um, <coughs> um, um, divided into different modules. We had um, a lot of theoretical classes uh, with a lot of theoretical knowledge to gain in uh, astronomy, astrophysics, in biology, in uh, spacecraft dynamics, etc. Uh, we also had a lot of um, operational training, like operating the robotic arms. Uh, we had also a learning to, to learn the procedures and of uh, the extra, extravehicular activity. So it, so it was training underwater in the pool. Um, another part and very important part as well is sports, because in space you have to do at least two hour and a, or two hour and a half of sports every day in order to remain healthy. So we need to learn on the ground what are, are the correct moves and, and to be sure that we take care of uh, having enough muscular strength. Um, and then the, the fourth part, I would say, was uh, um, the whole survival trainings that we did. We did survival training at sea 
survival training in the mountain environment. It's just to ensure that in case the spacecraft lands and, and the rescue teams uh, take a long time to come and rescue us, we at least know how to survive in these environments. We also learned Russian. It's, uh, it's part of, uh, of the curriculum. Every astronaut who flies to the ISS has to have a certain level of Russian uh, in order to be able to operate uh, because Russia is a partner in, in this. So we, we had classes in here in Germany um, and very intensive classes in here to be able to reach the, <coughs> the required level. Um, whenever it will come, I will be super happy, super excited, but I can tell you <coughs> there's still a long way to go in terms of training, so I'm super happy about the training as well. Thank you very much, Sophie, and congrats again. Thank you.